So this LED strip power supply is not working and I tested the, the capacitor here from the rectifier. I'm getting 167 volts so I'll continue testing. My feeling is that the switching transistor which is here is not getting a PWM signal or the transistor is faulty. I will continue testing until I find the problem. When testing circuits like these always use an isolation transformer. The reason is that there will be no direct path to ground and so the, in the event of a shock or mishap it would be less damaging. Also to these capacitors they hold a lot of charge and in this case this capacitor charges up to 167 volts DC. It is a good idea to discharge it not only a good idea it is necessary to discharge it before you start working on the circuit. Um, to discharge this you could use a screwdriver to short the terminals after you've disconnected the main power supply. Or you could use a voltmeter and see that the voltage runs down to a very low value or zero before you start working on it. So the source resistors here, all of them are open circuit and this, that is the source of the switching MOSFET and it is hardly unlikely that all of these resistors would be open circuit at the same time. So I have to look for more um, more problems because it is possible that the current sensing is not functioning so I'll have to trace that and send some cap uh, look at some capacitors and some resistors on that line. So I've changed these resistors here in order to keep the wattage I put three 1 ohm 0.25 watt resistors and um, then I changed the power transistor, the switching transistor. So let's put it together and see if it works. So I've put on the heat sinks and now it's time to test. Let's see what happens. And as you can see the LED light came on so it's looking. I'll heat sink the transistors and get some heat sink grease and see what's happening. So let's test it again. I'll turn on the switch again. Okay, so that works. <coughs> so let's double check that we are getting the current voltage from this LED power supply. So it turns on, as you can see the LED is on. And uh, let's check the voltage. So we're getting 11.6 volts, which is close enough. I'll adjust the potentiometer a little bit, and then we'll see if we get the current voltage. Let's set it to 12 volts. 11.3, so I have to adjust the potential the other way. Let's check again. So I'm getting 11.8, let's set it for 12. Eleven point nine. Let's see if we can get twelve. Twelve point three. Let's set it back down again. If that's too high. If we get it close to twelve point one, we'll leave it at that and um, that potential meter adjusts the PWM, the 
duty cycle on the PWM so it adjusts the voltage. Okay, so we'll see that this is fixed. I'll do one more test with a set of LEDs and I'll show you. So I've just connected a set of red LEDs to the power supply which we just fixed. Let's see if it's working. And the LEDs light. The LEDs are on and it's red. So we leave that there, we'll see that that is fixed. And um, the problem here was the switching transistor and the resistors on the source. Thanks for watching.